Hello, everybody. Gosh, uh, what we are going to do next is to inspire you. If we didn't inspire you in the end, we failed, right? But we'll do that. So, okay, uh, we can be doing our self-introduction. Hi, hello, Konnichiwa, Tokyo. So, um, we are Jane Zhang from Shanghai. Uh, she's the founder and CEO of a blockchain technology company called Xiaopay. And Jane is devoting herself for like at least three years to building a community, a digital community based on blockchain on our own technology called Skyledger. And uh, I, my name is Angela Lee. I'm the CEO of an online innovation uh, education company called Miaodra, which is the similar sound of the Scratch computer programming. So we are doing K-12 online innovation education. The reason for us two to be here is because we're trying to build a future education, which will be a totally new way of learning based on the blockchain technology and AI technology. So here is our uh, story. Jane, you want to start with the storytelling? Okay. So what's wrong with the education today? We are from Shanghai, and there's a lot of people here from uh, Asian countries like Japan or Korea, right? What, what do our uh, school do every day? They let us uh, remember facts and then do exam all the time. So we all remember facts. But what we don't know is how to innovate, how to solve problems. And then they put us in classes and uh, each of us are different. So we are in a class and then reciting all these facts. And when we graduate, you all think the same way. How can you innovate if you go to school every day? I don't think you can. So that's a big problem. Now, when we recognize where the problem is, we are going to innovate, right? So how? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, so blockchain is a new uh, concept, but what blockchain can do is to make individual data protected and not be uh, stolen by a third party or by Facebook or Google of this kind. So in blockchain, Everybody's data is under your own control. Nobody can take away your data unless you give permission, right? So uh, blockchain starts with Bitcoin. So it's a token that we can trade, uh, transfer value with each other. But both blockchain and Ether all have one problem. It cannot be scalable. If you, a lot of users use it, then you have a problem. So I created, uh, I work with a group of very talented hackers called Skycoin to start build a third generation of blockchain. So what can we do with third uh, generation of blockchain? Is this Skywire? Because when we transfer information on internet, we know that the internet was built by US people on six root uh, server. And the uh, US and Japan are good friends. So one of the root server is in Japan, right? So your internet is so fast. You know why? Because the root server is in your country. So uh, some Korean people just backstage and say, we are friends with the US. I say, no, no, no. They are friends with Japan because Japan got one of the root server. The second root server outside US is in UK. Now we all know who is a real friend Americans think they are, right? So if you are not between these countries, think again, right? Okay, so uh, if somebody shut down all the root server, we don't have internet. So if you have Bitcoin, you say you cannot even see your Bitcoin, you lose your money, right? So that is the problem. So we started six years ago, knowing that we need to leave today's internet. So we created this blockchain uh, protocol called Obelisk. 
uh, you can see that if somebody is interested, that is a new mathematic structure. Because if uh, somebody don't know blockchain very well, is blockchain is based on mathematics. So in this way, we can make the transaction or communication very fast. We can do 100,000 per second. So today's uh, POW or POS, or the first and the second generation blockchain cannot achieve because you need a new protocol. And at the same time, we change the telecom protocol. Why? Because the government cannot see us. Because we don't need anybody who don't get our permission to see whether we are com communicating. So we have very short of time. So I'm going, if anybody is interested in, uh, in Skyledger, uh, we can discuss later. Now I'm going to how do we uh, do education. So I realized re uh, maybe half a year ago, the global best AI company come to us to want to work together. Why? Because AI, if you think about a computer, AI right now as a robots, right? They are all individuals. They are not connected. Okay, so use blockchain, you can be uh, ID on the blockchain. And then anything need a business model, right? So machine need to pay machine money. If I, my uh, robot, teach your robot something, I want to, my robot will get paid. So in turn, I will get paid. Anything don't have a business model will be an interesting thing, but will never fly, right? So what Skyledger have solved the first time in the world that machine can pay machine without human intervention. Uh, it takes us two and a half years to get that done. Okay, so what do we do is, there's two kind of robots in the world. One industrial robot, which Japan is very advanced, and China is already the biggest industrial robot using country. But we are talking about social robot. So nobody really defined how the social robot should be using. So we decided to work with the best AI company to use social robot to teach people, which everybody will be designed of how they can be taught. Because when you're learning, you are getting feedback. So the machine can know your feedback and going to uh, design what is the best learning process or the learning material to be able to help you solve your problem. So. We work with Hanson Robotic, right? That, this is a very in, uh, interesting company. Hanson Robotic uh, have a Sophia, right? And I, uh, she even uh, get a citizenship from Saudi Arabia. Well, that is very interesting because it's actually not a human and he beca she become a citizen, right? So Hanson Robotic has another robot called Professor Einstein. No, when you look at this picture, it is the really Professor Einstein. So we use this AI uh, to put on blockchain. So every AI is an ID on blockchain and is going to link with the ID of the student who is a human. And then whatever they learn, the data is that students. So even though we are a blockchain, uh, we are a company that is uh, doing the service but we don't touch client's data. So I tell you, all the internet company will be gone. Why? They, because they touch your data, they don't even tell you how they use your data. And then only they become a blockchain company or they will die, the blockchain company will take over that we don't touch your data. That's what we uh, blockchain technology are. So, so for the AI, and the uh, uh, blockchain come together is to ca actually give a user case for blockchain and AI. How are we going to teach our students? So uh, now I give the uh, s stage uh, to Angela to explain yeah. how. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks to my passionate partner, Jane Zhang. So she described how the blockchain and the AI gonna to affect our life. So every single one of us with living have three st uh, status, the past, the present, and the future. 
And here in Slash, in this big hall, there is about new ideas sharing. But for education, we only look into the future because our responsibility as an educator is to educate our children to face their future life, say, in 30 years' time. So what we have to think from now, what our future life will be looking uh, looks like in next 30 years. That's exactly why we choose to build on our uh, online education on blockchain and AI. Because in next 30 years of time, AI is going to do most of the labor work of the society, which is, uh, has been done by human. So what our uh, future human beings will be do? Still, our ideas are most uh, you know, fascinating and beautiful thing to have, which can never be replaced by the machines. So where does the, all the beautiful ideas, the mindset comes from? It must come from innovation. That's why the current school system failed so much. It disappoints so many students. Why? Because it's never based on each single individual. So we, Miaojar Internet, we decide to change the status of the current school system. We only provide with each single kids their personalized uh, education. People would say it's impossible. Yes, according to current school system, it is impossible. That's why we have to break it. So here comes the thing called blockchain. How blockchain gonna to affect every single one of you in your daily life? We say in the next 30 years of time, our life is a digital, digitalized one. Japan, you guys uh, know what it means. You know, you, you, you guys are always the first to know. I even take a picture on the taxi we take on the way here. The taxi drivers are all weaponed, you know, with all different kind of electrical uh, devices. So in the future, our kids will live in a data uh, equipped world. But what if your data, you know, be invaded by uh, individuals is not protected? This is not a secure world. So we need blockchain technology because in future, data is like the water. It's the nutrition of the digital world. So each single one of you need to think about blockchain. And then the future... Um, environment will be like a tautonomic space. So we will issue, here is the thing, if you guys like our ideas, our story here that we share on this stage of the slash, we need every single one of you's support on three different things. One is that we will issue a token this will be a utility token for education. We will call it MZ Coin. I know currently there are so many different stories floating in the blockchain world. People will call this token, this uh, in crypto currency, a scam, right? And it has so many suspicions and doubts. But in future, it will be tokenized the economy. So education will be part of it. So we will issue a MZ Coin just for the purpose to motivate every single one of us to join us and to create the best innovative education program on our uh, platform. So this platform will be equated by blockchain. So individual of, you, of your, your data, your personal data will be protected on this platform. Uh, on this platform and each single one of you who has been invested in this community either by just purchasing our tokens or contribute the good project-based learning program will be awarded by the token and then in this way we try to create a tokenized community so that we can help the education to change as fast as we can and on this platform as what I said we we respect every single learners. It will be personalized learning program. Um, we uh, respect every single one of them students learning experiences. So we will use a learning robot. We will using the way called learning by searching. It will be project based learning. All the practical issues like a so a society problems will be involved in their current learning. So we will resemble 
the learning program. It will never be a standard curriculum to uh, all the students. It will be personalized, designed. You learn in your way, at the time, as you like, by uh, the help of uh, artificial intelligence and your social robot. So here is our story about Mildra, the online education for personalized education. Jane. Okay, so our idea is we'll uh, gather everybody who want to teach something onto this platform. So uh, when people like his uh, or her curriculum, people will pay token. And then we will also have uh, open bounty here. So if we want to solve problem, it's about creating a learning education community. And then everybody can contribute their idea into this project. And then we will have a, a, a little, so when you have effective contribution, that is very difficult because how do you mean by effective, right? But we are still working on it. When somebody gives effective contributions, you will get token, MZ coin. And then in the future, this thing will make a profit or was being used for. Everybody's token value goes up. So you, uh, you get rewarded all together as a community. So what MZ coin is about is to build a learning and a solving problem community to come together to solve the problem you think is important to you. So that is, uh, but a lot of time, you need the knowledge to solve it. You see how this problem come about and what other people already do that and then why it is not good enough, so what we should do together. So at the, our platform, learning is searching. So you can go search on a platform called a war firm. War firm is a scientist who have put every knowledge and every paper a human being has ever written put into this uh, uh, arrangement. So kids can search even by coding. So if you think you want to solve problem with code, it come out like a coding to give you all the facts. So it make research so much easier and time saving because if we do research, we have to look for things everywhere. So go to war firm, he just put everything that ever being written on this subject, you can find it, right? So in our platform, <coughs> is uh, learning is just searching in our age. You don't need a teacher to tell you facts. You can learn yourself. Uh, as long as the teacher already taught, or your parents taught you how to read, right? So this is a very, very aggressive way of solving our education problem. Because we think the problem is how do we make people through this process and become an innovator or just a very good memoir of facts. So we need everybody's help. MZ Coin is about building a learning community. We have an incubator in Shanghai. We will invest in a good idea on education anytime. We're very rich. We have a lot of money, OK? But we need you to solve problems. Money is never an issue. So if anybody wants to uh, help us solve the issue, we welcome you to Shanghai, to our incubator, to discuss and solve this problem together. And, uh, uh, I want to give you another story at the end. I see a new trend happening in China. A lot of parents didn't let their kid go to school. They teach themselves. Why? Because public education in every country failed us. How they fail us is because they make us become a test-taking machine, not an innovator. So if you want your kid to be an innovator, in China, they don't send their kids to school. So they gather together to teach their kids their way. So this platform was built by all these parents who has the courage to take their kids out of school and out of the government monopoly 
business that is failing us. So if your kids is yours, let's teach our kids ourselves. We shouldn't outsource this job to our government. And they fail us in every country. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Slash, and thank you, Tokyo.